the lightsaber. An elegant weapon for a more civilised age. Lightsabers consisted of a plasma blade powered by a kyber crystal. Plasma is an extremely hot substance, and so many people reason that lightsabers cause vast amount of thermal damage against those that they are used against. But, do lightsabers actually cause thermal damage in canon? Today, I will comprehensively decide whether lightsabers do or have ever caused thermal damage in canon. I should establish that by thermal damage, I mean significant damage, such as the heat burning a very large proportion of a person's body. I know that lightsabers are shown to cauterize wounds, and so have some burning effect on the body tissue, but that's not really what I'm talking about. I was introduced to the idea that lightsabers do thermal damage, through the debate over whether Sabine should have survived being stabbed in the Ahsoka show. I made a video covering whether Sabine's survival was realistic. In that video, I didn't cover the thermal damage of a lightsaber, because I just assumed that lightsabers couldn't give thermal damage. I know that there is this scene in The Phantom Menace, in which a door is melted to pieces, but I believe that it is established that lightsabers do not cause heat transfer like this through all mediums. Namely, it doesn't cause this damage to organic bodies. This is clear to me because if they did, then surely the very igniting of a lightsaber would cause the user to be horrifically burned. However, many comments disagreed with me on the matter of whether lightsabers cause thermal damage to people. Speaking about how Sabine should have been burned to death by the lightsaber. Looking at the case of Sabine, it seems clear that lightsabers do not do thermal damage, because she clearly faces no issues from heat damage to her body. But, is this an exception which contradicts the rest of canon? I am going to work my way backwards through the canon shows and films, so let's get straight to it. In the Acolyte, we see the stranger impale two people. Neither of these are shown to be burned in any significant way. In Ahsoka, Sabine is stabbed, as I stated earlier. In the Kenobi show, the Grand Inquisitor is impaled by Reva, and Reva is impaled by Darth Vader. In the sequel trilogy, we see a Stormtrooper be impaled by Finn, Han Solo be impaled by Kylo Ren, Kylo Ren holds the crossguard of his lightsaber against Finn's shoulder, Snoke be stabbed through the center of his body, Praetorian guards being stabbed, Kylo Ren impaled these people on Mustafar, Kylo Ren be impaled by Rey, and Ben Solo impaled two of the Knights of Ren. In none of these situations has anyone received any significant thermal injury. Once again, I am not counting the little bit of burning where the lightsaber has just touched. However, many people say that Disney changed the lightsaber so that it no longer causes thermal injury. So, let's see if that's true, by looking at some of the times people have been impaled by a lightsaber in the Clone Wars. In the Clone Wars, characters who have been impaled are Captain Argus, Trap, Talmeric, Commander Colt, The Sun, Rishlu, Oked, Old Dacca, Savage Opress, Pike, and Admiral Harch. None of these characters are shown to have thermal injury. However, I suppose that you could argue that since The Clone Wars was airing on Cartoon Network, a kids channel, gruesome details such as burning flesh may have been left out of the show. Not that this held back The Clone Wars anywhere else. So, let's get looking at the prequels. There we see Qui-Gon be impaled by Darth Maul, Agent Kola be stabbed by Palpatine, and a random clone trooper be impaled by Yoda. None of these characters are shown to have any significant thermal injury. Many people argue that Jedi can use the Force to prevent thermal injury from a lightsaber, and so characters like Qui-Gon Jinn are not a fair comparison when debating whether a character like Sabine should have thermal injury or not. However, my breakdown shows that many non full sensitive characters who have been impaled have no thermal injury, 
and so this argument doesn't apply. A great example is the clone trooper stabbed by Yoda. In case someone argues that in some scenes, the thermal damage is covered by clothing, I would counter that surely clothing should show heat damage, especially clothing like the Jedi robes worn by Qui-Gon Jinn when he was stabbed. All in all, if lightsabers have ever been intended to cause thermal damage for projects we've seen on screen, there's never been any visual evidence of them doing so. In addition to this, to make sure all bases are covered, I'll cover the timeframes in which certain characters are impaled. In the Ahsoka show, Sabine is impaled for roughly two seconds, which matches the time the clone is impaled in Revenge of the Sith by Yoda. This shows a consistency in the approach of lightsabers causing no thermal damage for this time frame. I also calculated how long Ben Solo is stabbed in The Rise of Skywalker, finding that he is impaled for roughly 11 seconds and has no thermal injury. This all goes to show that lightsabers do not cause thermal injury. Overall, I believe that I have proved that lightsabers do not cause thermal injury in canon and have never caused thermal injury in canon movies and shows. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and bye.